Uh, all right, so we have, uh, it's Bueller and Dodge. We have a special guest on the phone today. We have the number three ranked women's straw weight fighter, Rose Namajunas, fighting Tisha Torres at UFC on Fox 19 this Saturday, which, of course, April 16th. you got to make sure you check it out because it's on Fox and it's free. And now it's the co-main event behind Glover Teixeira versus Rashad Evans since Lyoto Mashida has uh, been pulled for apparently using a banned substance. He is pleading ignorance on that. Uh, what do you think about getting bumped up to that co-main event spot? Um, it's cool. Um, you know, they, they had us running around doing so much media that, um, it kind of already felt like we was the co-main event anyway. So, um, there's really not much of a difference. Just a, just a later time to fight. Uh, how do you feel about, uh, Leota using the, you know, I didn't know sort of argument where it seems like a couple fighters are doing this, you know, Yo Romero did this, Anderson Silva. How do you feel about it? Do you think like it should be what Boss Rutten said, where if you don't know what it is, just don't take it. I mean, can you plead ignorance? Um, I don't really know what his situation is, you know. Um, it, you know, some people just, I mean, I don't know. Like, I don't want to make any judgments on what he did, you know, um, because, like, we don't really know what the specifics are. Now, with you, though, if you're taking something, let's let's say you're at the gym and you're training and somebody comes up and says, hey, got some supplements for you before your fight, or you're going to find out what's in those supplements before you take them, right? Yeah, I guess so. You know, um, there's just so much stuff out there. Uh, you know, it, the supplement industry is just so um, confusing anyways. Um, you know, I take a lot of, like, herbal stuff anyway, and usually that stuff is pretty safe. But, um, you know, I can see how it could be confusing sometimes, like, what what is what. But um, for somebody as experienced as Leo, I guess, you know, um, you know, like, maybe you should have... Uh, you know, research a little bit better, but I mean, there's so many um, responsibilities that we have, and it's like it's hard to like keep track of everything. So at the same time, um, you know, it's just like one of those things where like I wouldn't want to um, pass too much judgment either. Right. So your, your last fight was with Paige Van Zandt, a fight that you utterly dominated. Uh, and not only that, but you kind of rubbed some of her words in her face. When, when you shaved her head, it was something that she kind of backed out of doing that she said on social media. How did that come out? Was that something you had planned ahead of time the minute you knew you were going to fight her? Um, you know, it, it wasn't really planned. I've been wanting to, I guess I've been like planning on cutting my hair off since I was like a little girl, you know, just always having like thin ass hair and you know, not really liking it, being a tomboy and not really knowing how to style my hair. But, you know, on top of that, uh, you know, I I just figured, you know, so many people are bugging her about it, you know, I figured I could do it, you know. um, I want to do it anyway, so uh, it kind of worked out. How does Pat Berry feel about it? Um, I think that he thinks it's sexy and badass. (laughs) You rocked it very, very well. I, I got to ask you, how pissed was Uncle Dana yeah, you. when you beat up Paige Van Zandt? <laughs> I have no idea. Um, I don't think he was, like, I mean, he didn't really express um, any uh, negative feelings towards me, you know. Um, I don't really know exactly how anybody feels about it, but, um, that, yeah, that don't, concern, that, that don't concern me, you know. I'm just here to, to beat up whoever's in front of me. doesn't matter if it's the, <laughs> the, the most hyped-up person that they, they want to push or, you know, just some to some nobody. <laughs> Speaking of that most hyped up, she did have, you know, as one of the, the main sponsors was Reebok for her. Um, at, the, at the time that you fought her, you didn't have a fight kit on the Reebok page, but now you do. Obviously, some, some words I heard with your how – how do you feel about that? You, you got your own fight kit now. Yeah, it's pretty cool, I guess. Um, I didn't really – I wasn't really aware of the fact that I wasn't on there. Um, some <laughs> fans kind of brought it to my attention, but like I said, I mean, you know – just about the whole like Leo Machida thing. I mean, there's so many like little details and things that go on outside of um, you know just the training that uh, it's hard to keep up with all that stuff. But you know, it's whatever. It's um, I'm happy that they that they fixed that mistake now, and um, you know we just move on. So, if you're one of the few fighters that has a slight customization to it with the Lithuanian patch on the side, was that something that you fought for, or did they just do it on their own? Um, I actually don't um, know because. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I, um, uh, if they, if, were you asking if they put it on there for me or if that, I asked Yeah, did for you it? request it or did they just go ahead and do it? Um, I can't even really remember actually. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely, um, like representing the country, you know, um, not many people know of my heritage and stuff like that. So it's cool to, um, kind of just put that, put the country on the map.
So you're uh, you're going to be facing Tisha Torres coming up here on Saturday uh, on the UFC on Fox. Now you actually fought her before, right? It's a rematch from Invicta uh, FC six. So you got a rematch. How are you feeling about that? Uh, it's pretty cool, you know. Um, she's a she's a tough competitor, obviously. You know, um, it's definitely the fight means a lot. You know, it's um, you know the next uh, step towards getting to the title shot. So. Um, you know, I'm really looking forward to putting my, my skills to the test. I know that I've evolved a lot, and, um, you know, I'm not the same fighter that, that fought her the first time, so uh, it's going to be interesting. Now, you said she's a tough fighter, but you also recently said that she's not an exciting fighter, that you would rather watch Kimbo versus Data 5000 again. Uh, how are you going to make this fight exciting? Um, just being myself, you know. Uh, I don't really need to um, to force anything, you know. I Just me being me is what's exciting. Um I don't need to do any, like, you know, flash kicks or, um, you know, uh, spinning, I don't know, flying go-go platas or anything. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it just kind of happens actually. That was awesome. But, um, you know, yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> um, but uh, it's, I, I'm just going to be me and uh, do my thing. Right on. Looking forward to it. Uh, like we said, it's Saturday, UFC on Fox. It's going down for free. Um, April Fool's Day just passed. And uh, and you and your fiance Pat Barry like to prank each other. Did anything go down there? Um, well, inside of MMA uh, came and they they were playing some pranks on everybody and um, Pat kind of like jumped on around Crook when he wasn't looking. But um, nothing too out of the like, nothing too crazy or anything like that. Um, you know, just uh, nobody got hurt, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you didn't have anything specifically planned for Pat like you did back in uh, Valentine's Day. <laughs> no, 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 no. Nah, just focusing on the fight. All right, fair enough. Well, before we let you go, we got one more question for you. We know we've talked to you before during the Ultimate Fighter, but we can't find the uh, the answer to this. So we we both think that maybe we didn't ask you, but it's a who would win in a fight uh, question, and Dodge is going to go ahead and give it to you. All right, Rose, who's going to win in a fight, a bear with machine guns for paws or a pterodactyl that poops chainsaws? Mm, a bear. The bear? <laughs> Whatever you said. I mean, a bear wins every time. The bear wins every time. Like it. Well, no. Yeah, bear. All right. <laughs> Rose Nama Yunus is Team Bear <laughs> fighting Tisha Torres this Saturday. UFC on Fox. Make sure you tune in because it is for free. Uh, it's co-main event. And Rose, of course, as always, we wish you the best of luck uh, uh, on your fight this Saturday. Thank you so much for your time today. Yeah, thank you, guys.